Welcome to this week's Desmond Stumblers and our photo diary from our trip to Tom and Tal. Tom and Tal nestles at a height of 354 metres on the northern slopes of the Cairngorm Mountains. They claim to the title of the highest village in the Highlands. But travelling south, you'll encounter nothing more than the old track for nearly 40 miles and will have crossed the Cairngorms. If you take that route, you would emerge not far from Dalwini, which also lays claim. There were settlements in this area by the 1640s, but Tamantal itself did not come into being until 1776, in the aftermath of the Jacobite uprisings and a desire to control both political and economic activity was on the agenda. The fourth Duke of Gordon decided to build a new village to house the populations of the dispersed settlements on his estates. It was designed to make it easier to stamp out cattle reaving and whiskey smuggling. It was also picked, or the location was also picked, to take advantage of the military roads that had been built in the area. Diary, 12th of July 2019. When Lindsay returned home from work, we headed off inland and were headed for Tom and Tal on the Glenlivet estate. The weather is still not good, but at least Tom and Tal will be less moggy as it is well above sea level. We are parked at the new bird hide, which we will explore tomorrow. Thirteenth of July, twenty nineteen. It is a grey day in Tom and Tal. However, we have made several visits to the high and saw the local deer and bird life. The local joined us in the hide and explained a little about the community project involving the surrounding land. Lindsay walked into the village and returned bearing gifts in the form of a Tom and Tal malt whisky. Later, Lindsay did the circular walk. The rain came on and off all day, so between visits to the hide, I managed a geocache while being supervised by a pair of horses. After supper, another visit to the hide was followed by a dram. No, not the new one. Then, it was time to head for bed. Fourteenth of July, twenty nineteen. We we're out of range of the two meter net, so I listened to the news on the HF bands. In an incident reminiscent of Hancock's half hour, there was a possible emergency. If it had been real, the guy would have been in real trouble, as I had no clue, and I couldn't join in straight away, as it would have caused chaos. However, as I tried to join in. They sorted things out. If it was real, I tried to think what would have happened. As it was, it turned out to be a hoax, but only on the say-so of another net member. A hobby needs better training. Weather is no better, but time to head off for home. We, we went via Keith and we filled up with diesel, ready for our next trips. 
thanks for watching this week's Desmond Stonda Photo Diary. We'll hope you join us on Friday for some more video from Tom and Tal. And on Wednesday for some waffle. I don't know what about yet, but hopefully see you there. Bye for now.